motion to return to open session. So moved. Second. Okay. So in closed session, we discussed personnel and that qualifies under the statute for executive session. And now we need a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We're adjourned. <laughs> now we'll start the council meeting. Am I getting it all in here right? Okay. What's that? No, we're just starting the meeting. We cannot conduct, we can't conduct business in a work session such as that. We'll do it now. So now the meeting is called to order. Clerk, call the roll. Mrs. Cameron? Here. Mrs. Lane? Here. Mrs. Rich? Here. Mrs. Gallagher? Here. Mr. Kravchak? Here. Mr. Parza? Here. The meeting is now open. Adequate notice of the meeting was provided by posting a copy of the time and place on the municipal clerk's bulletin board and mailing a copy of same to the press and the Cape May County Herald on January 6th, 2018. Will everyone please rise to salute the flag? Do we have any communications? Uh, no, Mayor. We'll now have public comment. Anyone wishing to address Mayor and Council may do so at this time by coming forward to the microphone and stating your name and address for the record. My name's Catherine Kramer with an ER. Um, I live at uh, 321 94th Street and uh, we've been residents here for 30 years this is the first time that I've attended or my husband so we feel you've done a great job we never had to come but right now I have a few questions about the um, ocean containers behind the reeds um, there's a 40 foot there and then there's a 20 foot across the street and uh, they have right, well, some of them have writing um, on the side. I wanted to know, is it a permanent thing or a temporary storage unit that will disappear? And where are they located? One's on the parking lot. I guess it's Reeds, right? I know what you mean. I did actually, I actually just happened to see that the other day when I was coming up 97th Street back, there's some kind of a storage container that's in a parking lot there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a 40 foot ocean container. That, okay. Yeah, and um, the other one is a, Probably a 20 footer across the street in Fred's parking lot. And then. Oh, and the. Okay. They're not both at the Reeds. You're saying one no, is located no. at Fred's and one. And okay. I, they believe they're storing trash or produce or, or whatever in there because I see the, the um, trash truck arrive at 8 o'clock in the morning and the, the fellas bring the trash out, put it in the trash pile. So I, I don't know. So you're seeing trash being taken out of these storage containers and then put into the trash truck? Yeah. At both locations? No. Just Fred's? On the street, yeah. The, the oh. Fred's. Okay. I, I don't know. Does it go on every day? Or I don't know. But I just don't. I think it's not a good thing to start. And uh, I thought maybe you should be aware of it. And if it's allowed, or, you know, what, whatever. But I, I would think it's something we can turn over to Ray Poudre to take a look yeah. at we'll, and see we'll what. We'll double check. We can, yeah, we can. Uh, that's maybe construction debris, but we'll verify. It, and, and see what it possible. is. Yeah. yeah, and I, that's what I, you know, if it is, then that's great. Right. But uh, it's yeah, not we'll definitely double check, but it's not way. something that I think we should, because Stone Harbor is Stone Harbor. Mm -hmm. I'd like to keep it that way. And thank you. Thank you. Judy, is that the white pod she's talking about? Mm -hmm. the pod? I just noticed it for the first time the other day. I just didn't, I had not I, noticed I, it before. I saw it last week in the one near the movie theater down there in that lot. Yeah, there's there's quite a few pot or the containers on parking lots, and I don't even know if we have an ordinance that they cannot be used for that reason. I don't know. Right, and I'm not familiar with what would address it myself. So we can ask Jill to follow that up with the construction and zoning. Yes. Okay. Yes. Hi. Hi. Joan Petroski. I live at 256 98th Street. In conjunction with what the lady just spoke about, okay, there are some people who have mentioned to me 
as they're walking on 96th Street. You have a lot of people that come over the bridge, okay? Some people from town that go towards courthouse walking over the bridge and then they're coming back. And I'll say they do smell trash when they're on 96th Street. I spoke to the young fellas who are the valets for the parking at the Reeds because the water that was running down there all the time right next to the stand where they are, yeah. that had an odor that was like positive and absolutely unbelievable. You had to feel sorry for those kids to be out there in that heat smelling that from like eight <coughs> o'clock in the morning until whatever time they, they worked. Um, I did get in touch with Ron and he did get it bleached up, cleaned up, and there was a big improvement. But right in back of our house on the 97th Street lot that was Fred's lot, parking lot, that's the one that the Reeds is using, the valet parking right now. That green pod has been up there probably almost going on two years. Mm -hmm. It was supposed to be up for a few months. And um, the white chairs that they use on the beach for their weddings and heaven only knows what else is in there. It doesn't have trash from what I know of, but um, yeah, so I would like to find out whether or not that can get removed, and, and it's not that I won't talk to them too, I will, but. Um, that's it, their lot though. Yeah. Then yeah, that's what I'm saying. I am not familiar with whatever the zoning lot. requirements would be on having a container like that placed on a parking lot permanently. I don't, you know, I mean, that's what I'm not, saying. We yeah, they could not permanently do it. If it's related to their construction, it's okay because yeah. it's temporary, and unfortunately where they're building, you can't physically put it on that site but it really should No, that's different than what she's yeah, talking about. This isn't a construction. Yeah, I'm gonna double check, they should not have a yeah, it's, it's a regular right. storage container. It is yeah. a storage container. They used to have, before they put the thing up on the beach, they used to have the, because the kids would come down at the end of the beach day mm -hmm. and take the chairs out, the um, you know, the umbrellas, all the stuff that they were getting for their guests and everything. The other day, the big crane thing that was working at the spa building, that was in the parking lot that adjoins the borough parking lot. Okay, the very far end. I, that was only there, I think, maybe overnight or whatever, and then I think they, they moved it because the young couple that's purchasing the house two doors over from where we, we are, they didn't like seeing that in their backyard. So, you know, in back But of I think that's only temporary while yeah, they're that yeah. constructing yeah. the that's building. Yeah. But not the, not not the other the, one. Not the, right. the, not the white we'll one. We'll the, check not on Not the green them. thing that's been sitting and there we, for public works hasn't had any complaints about a trash smell at all you would we we did have one, one um last week in reference to coming down on the third I avenue think, yeah and we did i also reached out to ron too yeah. and he had them right. come out they and did it. they they went they have the employees go back because i even said to us you know our trash trucks have been clean for heaven's sake for how many years and stuff you know and if you want to you, mm -hmm. you do the same thing for your own trash cans at home they should be doing the same thing there. So anyway, since it was okay. brought up, I thought Check I'd say out. something. Okay, and the thank one, you. The one next to Buckets, there was a problem there with the drainage, uh, what, like a year ago or so, and then we addressed that and they took care of it. So maybe it just needs to be cle is, cleaned out right again. In, it's where they keep all of their their trash things mm -hmm. uh, to, the that right, to the right-hand side. Mm -hmm. of you know, where the build, their rest, their hotel ends, and right. then the bucket's exactly, exactly there. That was addressed, and right. maybe it, yeah. it stopped but up again. there's always some kind of drainage and mm. stuff coming down. We'll have them, and it doesn't stop there. We'll have them look at it. Is there anyone else who would like to address mayor and council? My name is Thomas Kramer. I'm 321 94th Street also. I'd just like to add to my wife's conversation. Uh, on the Fred's uh, situation, he's had a refrigerated container there for years, which is over by the back door. That's been moved over by the door going into the, uh, the uh, liquor, the package goods store. In front of that now, he's got a 20-foot container that he's using to store barrels of beer, cases of beer, whatever, in the parking lot. Our concern is, where do we go from here? I mean, is that's two. Do we go to three, four, five? And where we are, we look right out our back, out towards the bay, and what we're looking at now is storage containers. Uh, the other one is on 96th Street, 
where that open lot is across from Uncle Bill's, I guess. There's a 40-foot container in there. And we love the reeds, tremendous asset to the community. But I saw them now, they're using that as a storage unit. They're rolling tables and chairs in there. And there's some broken chairs laying out on the lot. And this is the, the uh, approach to Stone Harbor that all our visitors are going to be looking at. So I would like for somebody to look into that situation. Is there permits required for these things? And where do we begin and end with these storage right. containers? That's what we'll give it to yeah, the zoning that. office and construction office to get us all that information as far as whatever the permitting. I don't think there's a permit, or if there is, it's short-lived. It's like the construction trailers while it's going on. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, I'm my first inclination is they're not permitted for long-term use. Well, I, I approached the uh, construction office a couple weeks or a month ago. I said, can I put a 40-foot container in my driveway? And they said no. So anyway, thanks for listening. Okay, thank you. Is there anyone else who would like to approach mayor and council? We'll close public comment. Ordinance 1529. Madam Mayor, I move that. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Ordinance 1529 be taken up on first reading. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Will the clerk read the title only of Ordinance 1529 on first reading? An ordinance amending Chapter 542, Water and Sewer. Madam Mayor, I move that Ordinance 1529 be passed on first reading, published according to law, and that it be taken up on second, third, and final reading and adoption at a meeting of mayor and council to be held on the second day of October 2018. Second. Clerk, call the roll. Mrs. Kramer? Yes. Mrs. Lane? Yes. yes. Mrs. Rich? Yes. Mrs. Gallagher? Yes. Mr. Kravchak? Yes. Mr. Parza? Yes. Resolution 2018 S-170. <coughs> Mayor and Council, I'd like to offer resolution 2018-S-170 for adoption. Second. This is, uh, this is change order two to the uh, contract for construction of the police building and increases the contract price by $18,191. And uh, the bulk of that increase is due to the deteriorated conduit under 95th Street that they found. Um, upon excavation. Any discussion? Clerk, call the roll. Mrs. Kramer? Yes. Mrs. Lane? Yes. Mrs. Rich? Yes. Mrs. Gallagher? Yes. Mr. Kravchuk? Yes. Mr. Parzik? Yes. Resolution 2018-S-171. Oh, I didn't, it's not on my end that I have it. Okay. Madam Mayor, I offer resolution 2018-S-171 for adoption. Second. Second. This is an NJDOT local aid grant for the 200 block of 88th Street. Let's just say the reconstruction of 88th Street. All right, let's just leave it at the <laughs> reconstruction of 88th Street. Any discussion? Clerk, call the roll. Mrs. Kramer? Yes. Mrs. Lane? Yes. Mrs. Rich? Yes. Mrs. Gallagher? Yes. Mr. Kravchuk? Yes. Mr. Parzik? Yes. Resolution 2018-S-172. I offer resolution 2018-S-172 for adoption. Second. This policy establishes a uniform method with respect to certain recreation fees as they are refunded. Any discussion? Clerk, call the roll. Mrs. Kramer? Yes. Mrs. Lane? Yes. Mrs. Rich? Yes. Mrs. Gallagher? Yes. Mr. Kravchuk? Yes. Mr. Parzik? Yes. Resolution 2018-S-173. Mayor and Council, I offer resolution 2018-S-173 for adoption. Second. This is a renewal of the liquor license that we just granted in the last month to um, 81st Street LLC, which is the old backyard restaurant, which yep. is the Union League. So this will run through the end of June 2019. Any discussion? Clerk, call the roll. Mrs. Kramer? Yes. Mrs. Lane? Yes. Mrs. Rich? Yes. Mrs. Gallagher? Yes. Mr. Kravchuk? Yes. Mr. Parzik? Yes. Resolution 2018-S-174. Madam Mayor, I offer resolution 2018-S-174 for adoption. Second. Uh, this resolution cancels on expended grant funds that we received from open space. Um, it's a bookkeeping situation 
in the amount of $45,525. Any discussion? Clerk, call the roll. Mrs. Kramer? Yes. Mrs. Lane? Yes. Mrs. Rich? Yes. Mrs. Gallagher? Yes. Mr. Kraftcheck? Yes. Mr. Parzik? Yes. Resolution 2018-S-175. I offer resolution 2018-S-175 for adoption. Second. Second. This resolution um, will award the 82nd Street Recreation Facility Tennis Court uh, program as explained by the engineer during the work session. Any discussion? Clerk, call the roll. Mrs. Kramer? Yes. Mrs. Lane? Yes. Mrs. Rich? Yes. Mrs. Gallagher? Yes. Mr. Kravchuk? Yes. Mr. Parzik? Yes. Resolution 2018-S-176. I'd like to offer 2018-S-176 for adoption. Second. Um, this is a uh, civil rights policy that the GIF has required for us to have. It's really interesting, and I hope everybody read it. And discussion? Clerk, call the roll. Mrs. Kramer? Yes. Mrs. Lane? Yes. Mrs. Rich? Yes. Mrs. Gallagher? Yes. Mr. Kravchuk? Yes. Mr. Parzik? Yes. Before we move on to the motions that are on the agenda, um, I need a motion for the authorizing the borough administrator to proceed as directed in executive session. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Need a motion approving special event. Meet the clock. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Need a motion to go out to bid for a valve exercising trailer? So moved. Second. Bids to be received. Bids to be received October 2nd, 2018 at 2 o'clock p.m. We got a second from Joan. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Closed? Closed. <laughs> <laughs> Opposed. <laughs> um, and it is with sadness that I need a motion to accept a letter of resignation from our uh, recreation director, Miranda Duca. Nobody wants to give it to Nobody's going to second it. <laughs> with regret. I will second it with much regret. <laughs> All those in favor with regret? Aye. <laughs> Opposed? Um, what do I have now? Um, I have a motion approving the bill list and authorizing the CPO to pay the bills. CFO. Madam Mayor, I move that we approve the bill list and authorize the CFO to pay the bills when the funds are available and the vouchers properly endorsed. Second. second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? We'll now have the second public comment. Anyone wishing to address mayor and council may do so at this time by coming forward to the microphone and stating your name and address for the record. Seeing no one, we'll close public comment. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? And we're adjourned. <laughs>